Hello, hello, YouTube and Facebook. This is Stephanie, aka Idini Hastu Sapapa, and I'm here to do the monthly readings. I'm currently on the sign of Virgo. <laughs> so let's get into it. All right. Divine forces of unconditional love, peace, wealth, health, and prosperity of the highest macrocosm. What does the sign of Virgo need to know for their highest good for the month of May? What do they need to know for their highest good? Please and thank you for clear and accurate messages. So I'm going to do four rows of cards. Each row representing a week in the month of May. So you can, um, you know, look at the reading in that manner. Or if you want to um, feel, see the reading. Or if it resonates more, it's just a one big message for you. Take it that way. Um, as, you know, this is a general message. So, um. It may not resonate with everyone. So please keep that in mind. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. You know, if it doesn't resonate with you, then it's the message wasn't for you. You know, because you're gonna know whether the message is for you or not, and where it fits in your life, or how you can apply the um, healing messages if you. are able to glean some wisdom from from this reading all right so be graceful in movement and action overall energy for this reading is happiness um it says bask in joy and light. So May, May is asking you to bask in joy and light and to surrender to complete healing. That is, you know, uh, the overall message for the reading. We're getting going to get one more overall message once I finish shuffling these cards. But it says open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Um, and so there may be a complete healing um, that may come around. You may experience this um, in its fullest power come summer. However, I feel in the month of May, uh, there's going to be a lot of cultivating and a lot of planting of seeds of um, that complete healing. And that it's, um, and that you're starting that journey to complete healing. And uh, another part of the overall energy is mending. So um, this could be you mending some relationships in your life. Perhaps. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. Okay. Wow, trust. So we have here, be graceful in movement and action. Um, fire, guardian, ignite your passion. Wow. And, be and right below that, to clarify this, which is the second week, wow, of... Uh, may is surrender to passion and then below that is exchanging gifts which is about you know your gifts your talents um truly focusing on that you know and that's going to help you to step into this energy of complete healing be able to step into this energy of basking in joy and light you know Three of Wands, okay. But, you know, it's going to take you doing the work. So I'm just getting some tarot out on the table here. And then we're going to get into the messages. Yes, beautiful. 
beautiful energy, Virgo. Beautiful, beautiful energy. Overall message here is the Page of Wands, which is that innocent um, energy as it's a childlike energy. The Wands is all about passion and wisdom, um, confidence as well. So, um, and there could be messages as well with the pat with the page card here. So, you know, a new beginning in your passions, a new beginning, and this new beginning is going to bring about justice. This is a new way of seeing things, a new perception. So, um, yeah, and this new perception, like I said, like I was saying, is it's going to, um, hopefully inspire you to surrender to complete healing to open fully to the loving compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical um healing as i do see here surrender your addiction so perhaps there's an addiction that you may have uh, that you're battling with um virgo whether it's a a, a mental addiction to um always seeing the negative in life um you know um addiction to a lack mentality um and or just negative talk or it could be surrender uh, addictions to um substances like alcohol or um any other kind of drugs you know there's many addictions out there other than drugs and sex ad addiction um you know but again New energy, new fresh energy that's inspiring um, a complete healing and amending of self and perhaps amending of relationships in your life. So first week of, of May, we have here um, Shailan, Shailan, Shailan Master. Be graceful in um, movement and action. Uh, clarifying that is surrender de defensiveness. So a way to be graceful in your movement and action is to surrender defensiveness as defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out and then offer a clear non-defensive response. And then supporting that is happy, happy. You're going to get a happy outcome if you just try to do things in a different way, you know, in a different manner. This is about, this is important to your healing. Again, this is, um, May is the month of new um, beginnings and passions and the things that you're passionate about. And most, and of course, our families and the, the relationships to the people that we love are important to us. So now is a time to um to work on those and and you know the best way to do so is to be graceful in movement and then and of course again if you apply these techniques that'll can put you in this three of ones energy which is like a, a waiting energy um but while you wait you should be actively planning you know um tapping into your passions of you know, I feel here because beneath, beneath the complete um, surrender to complete healing is um, surrender to creativity. You know, so um, not only should you be working on mending relationships, but also um, tapping into mending, you know, what's going on within you. Um, perhaps your addictions are keeping you from truly sensing your full power and allowing you to step into who you truly are and your purpose in this life with confidence you know so you know it's just kind of a waiting game right now you're um maybe figuring out how to implement this new way of doing things as we have the two of cups you know this isn't a, a important relationships a, a very um you know um, pivotal relationship in your life coming together a very important person um so the three of wands 
So if you do this, you be more graceful in your movements, surrender defensiveness, you can, you, you, you will have a happy response. You know what I'm saying? Whomever it is that um, you may be at odds with are going to see that and they're going to be able to come to you. They're going to see the, the growth and the maturity. And they're going to come to you to help, you know, add their two cents in on healing the deception. And it could be with the Capricorn in your life or um, another earth sign. Or this could be, you know, you're in, in while you're in this energy of just kind of waiting and observing things, waiting for your ships to come in. You you could be mending the relationship within yourself because this could be, you know, a relationship within yourself. Your divine masculine and divine feminine energy coming together into wholeness, allowing you to be in your full power and to truly see how you've been, you know, maybe um, allow you to take accountability for your actions and um, help you to overcome any self-deception that is going on, bringing you into the queen of pentacles which is you virgo or this could be and and remember and remember that when it comes to readings that though i may say male or female whatever the readings aren't gender specific so if you're a male watching this and i have this queen of pentacles card up you can you can just you know it could be the king of pentacles you know but this is you know the queen of pentacles this is you virgo or this could be another earth sign in your life um you know, coming into awareness and and is now ready to do the work. You know, to do the work and to overcome this feeling of a missed opportunity. Taking matters into your own hands and igniting your passion again. As we segue perfectly into this next week of uh, May, which is the second week of May. You're going to be in the energy of igniting your passions as you, you know, begin to see things more clearly. Start mending those relationships um, within your first within yourself, mending the relationship with yourself, forgiving yourself for any actions that you may have done in the past that is not of, you know, integrity, forgiving yourself um, and then in and, and you forgiving yourself, that opens you up to be able to forgive others, to be able to take accountability, to be able to mend relationships and to be able to move forward again, like the first week said, in more, a more graceful way and a more uh, and to surrender defensiveness so that you can be and regain the happiness that you've been searching for, you know. And then once you get in this to, to this energy, then you can be like, now you can focus on yourself and your passions again. So the second week of May, you're going to be igniting your passions, okay? And surrendering to your passions. It says here, get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly, okay? Focus on the people or activities that ignite your passion and let it flow. Exchange gifts with those people. Or with those activities, it's an energy exchange, one that is going to ignite you and motivate you. And in doing so, you're going to be in the energy of the Ten of Cups. You know, this is complete happiness, a happiness, happy family, happy work life, happy. You're just going to be in a very beautiful energy of bliss. I don't even want to just say contentment because that's, but it, you know, contentment is even a blessing for some people because they've, some people are so, um, trapped by their own thoughts and trapped by the past and probably past mistakes that they've made. And contentment is like heaven for some people, you know, but then of course we want to grow and keep improving and of course you this is but I, I feel like this is more bliss okay contentment can be bliss for some people but whatever contentment whatever bliss is for you that's what this energy is and that's what um uh, igniting your passion and surrendering to your passions will do um so exchange your gifts don't be um 
afraid to be vulnerable and to live your life as you, not as putting front, putting up a front of toughness or anything like that, but truly surrendering to the magic of who you are. I'm going to put you in the energy of this bliss. Yes. Have you, um, allowing you to be in tune with your star player and be able, um, to listen to the guidance of your highest self, you know, overcoming this energy of confusion and, um, chaos you know detoxifying your life you know removing those things that are not important you know and not investing your energy into those things anymore only investing your energy into those things that will ignite your passion and allow it to flow that will ignite your love and the joy and the peacefulness that will ignite a complete healing you know um, and perhaps the passion that is going to be ignited in the second week of May is that passion to heal, that passion to truly find happiness again, you know, because we have the summer card, sun, happiness, joy and light, surrender to complete ha healing. This is happiness. This is love. This is compassion. This is connection to the universe and spirit. Finding that physical, emotional and spiritual healing, mending your relationships with spirit and with yourself and with people around you happy happy card and then we have the ten of cups here as well you know so this is the passion perhaps could be that is igniting as your passion to find happiness again you know again like i said overcoming confusion you know seeing things from a different perspective here with the hangman and reaching um a state of enlightenment of perhaps those the toxicity in your life and deciding that you're no longer going to invest energy into those things anymore you're going to embody the empress energy this is you know luxury this is um, wealth um, peace wealth health and prosperity all the things that you know are positive and happy and joyful this is what you know your passion will be or were you know perhaps in the month of may finding that happiness again perfect segue into the third week of may which we have here is trust in higher forces yes this is this is made this may be a new journey for you because you're so used to being in a lack mentality but, but now you're wanting to move into an abundance mentality and it's going to take you trusting in the higher forces in order to do that you know this is you doing different things and you're being vulnerable so surrender your attachments to the results you know because what you're em embarking on now is something that you have never you know possibly have never done before or experienced before and so we don't want you to have certain expectations and when things doesn't hit that the way you want it to that it discourages you and um, take you back into that energy of toxicity no trust in the higher forces trust in the higher forces and then supporting that we have be flexible exactly this is all energy about being flexible not putting too much pressure on yourself you know just taking things one day at a time one moment at a time it says the formula for success is to do all you can to make things happen then let go of the results holding on too tightly to a desired outcome can sabotage it flexible exactly so be flexible in this time you know there's a lot going on possibly a lot of irritation going on so i've heard in regards to astrology and the way the planets are aligned right now that things are really agitated and so we're, we're, we may be feeling that energy as well but spirit again wants you to be in tune with high vibrational energy, you know, the energy of joy and light, the energy of complete healing. And then look at here, we have the uh, exchanging gifts card um, here for the second week of, um, of May. And underneath the overall energy of bask in joy and light, we have here the trader card, which exchange energy to create abundance and isn't that what we're, we've been talking about 
Um, and below, below that is direction guarding it. Choose your path. You have a choice here. You can choose to um, invest your energy into those things. Like we said here with the surrender to passion, choose to invest your energy in those things that it, it uh, things and people and activities that ignite your passion for complete healing and happiness and joy and mending um, and you know to ignite your passion in those things and to let it flow all right so let's get into the tarot here for the third week of um, May so yes you are in the energy of building beautiful building uh, um, and um, and, and healing mind body and spirit you know the three of pentacles can be the trinity mind body and spirit uh getting your mind body and spirit on one accord and in that energy of being whole you can again step out and be able to do the work that you were put on earth to do exactly building and working to overcome generational curses so that you can build and begin to build a generational legacy beautiful beautiful energy yes with the magician card here being able to manifest um your passions being able to manifest this happy happy energy this complete healing um into your life and in doing so helping you to overcome this mental conflict this depression this you know um overwhelming uh mental energy that has been keeping you in a in, in a stagnant um, way of life and way of being you're coming out of that as you know the 10 reduces to a one which is the ace of swords which is truth power um overcoming um triumph into this energy of the nine of pentacles which i believe is a virgo energy as well about of self-mastery of self-awareness self-consciousness you know um which is going to empower you to walk away from those things that are no longer serving you which is a perfect segue because of the, the next you know in this last week of may you have the surrender addictions so this is perhaps you walking away from again those addictions those addictions to lack the addictions to substances if that's what you're you're addicted to but um yeah, it's moving in that energy, going towards your Ten of Cups. Okay, um, so here we go. Last week of eight of May, this is I feel will be a very spiritual. Uh, excuse me, a very spiritual week for you because we have the drum, and the drum we know are used in a lot of rituals. They're very spiritual. They're always used in spiritual uh, practices, um, even in religion. When the Christian church, when the drummer gets to playing that shouting music, I mean, it takes that drum. Without the drum, you ain't not gonna have any people shouting, you know, in church. Um, in meditations, people we use the drum. Um, in African culture, it's very important. In the Indian culture, um, in Hindu culture, like the drum is a very spiritual instrument um and it's about the dream and the journey okay of um the spiritual journey is again we surrender into complete healing that's the overall energy right um open and fully to the love and compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical emotional and spiritual healing physical emotional and spiritual healing again that trinity remember mind body and spirit on one accord so again a very spiritual uh week um the week four, um, surrendering your addictions. It says whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. And of course, in the second week of May, that's what you're working on, igniting your passions, finding out um, what your gifts are again, and and be and getting into the energy of being of sharing it with the world. As we have here the time to go, it's time for you to let go of those addictions that are holding you back and begin to tap into more healthier alternatives, you know. So that's going to take you releasing the past here with the five of cups, no longer crying over spilt milk, um, but seeing that you what you have left over um, and seeing that you still, you know, as long as you have yourself, um, 
and you're happy with self, which is what you're going to, you know, the first few weeks of May, you've invested your time and your energy into healing yourself, you know, um, you know that you don't, you don't have to cry over spilt milk. You can regain the years that the locusts ate away. You can trust in higher forces, release your attachments to results, do all that you can, um, and then let go and allow spirit to take the reins. Be flexible in your healing and in this growth of you overcoming your addictions. And look at that. You have the sun card here, Virgo. All of this happiness, all of this happiness, you're finding you're happy in the month of May. Beautiful energy. Again, no longer crying over spilt milk, knowing, finding that confidence within yourself, knowing that you can manifest and grow and know that you can open to infinite possibilities. It's going to bring you that happiness and the motivation to move forward and willpower and determination here with this chariot card. Again, finding the love of life again, beautiful energy, moving past, you know, chaos into calmer waters with the six of swords, which can be like a, a, a rice of passage here in initiation. And again, here we go with the page of pentacles, seeing that that new seed of joy, seeing that potential, seeing just being having that zeal for life of, again. Um here so beautiful energy virgo um if you like the reading please like share subscribe um if you like the reading um you can also donate to the channel my cash app um tag is below so please donate to the channel dollar five dollars fifty cent i don't care just donate and that that's the energy exchange right i'm exchange I'm, I'm giving you my gifts you know, with the readings and encouragement. So, you know, let's change energy. And then the way that you can exchange with me is like, share, subscribe, or donate to the channel. I would truly appreciate it. I love you guys. Um, if you want a personal reading, please just hit me up. My uh, email will be in the description box below along with my cash app. And um, yeah, just email me. Let me know that you're, um, you're wanting a personal reading. And we'll just go from there. You know, I'll give you the instructions on um, what to do from that point on. All right, Virgo. Again, I love you all. And until next time, peace.